Hey you guys, so I am back with a brand new video and I figured I would share with you guys my thoughts on the new ColourPop collection that I just dropped. Um, so I did pick up their new highlighter. It is called Gimme More Pressed Powder Highlighter and it just looked like this. And then on the front it says, I like your face. And then on the back of the actual packaging you get the names of the highlighters. And then the inside just look like this. So you do get six highlighters in here. I do have on this one right here called Bigger and Better, which looks like this on my face. What do you guys think? I think that is so pretty. It's like a really pretty like champagne bronze color. It's a really nice highlighter. But again, you do get six colors in here. And honestly, you guys, like first off, I really wish there was a mirror up here but there isn't one up here and then realistically to be honest all of these shades i'm not going to wear as highlighters because number one they don't really fit my skin tone personally like this frosty white one like i'm not gonna wear that that will look really pretty on someone that's fair skin but as far as my complexion it's not gonna work for me however i can definitely see myself wearing this one and maybe this one right here which is called full service but everything else i probably won't wear um now maybe this as a blush topper and then that could probably be a blush topper too and i might wear that but I have to see how, what it looks like on my skin. Um, but again, they are really pretty and they are quite pigmented. I'll swatch a few for you guys so you can see what it looks like. So that is some of the swatches on my hand as you can see. Again, they're really pretty. Um, and I personally feel like you can probably skip out on this palette. Only because I feel like all the colors in here, you know, they're not really colors that you can wear on an everyday basis as far as like every day and also all these colors may not necessarily fit your initial skin tone but i do think it's a really pretty palette um if you like to collect products i would say definitely get your hands on it but if you want something that you can definitely wear every day and you can pretty much wear all the colors in it this might be the this may not be the palette for you but again it's really pretty and i do think they're really pigmented and it looks really pretty against the skin but you can definitely pass on the highlighter and get you know, an individual compact and do it that way. Moving on to the actual eyeshadow palette. This one is called Yes Please, is their pressed powder shadow palette. This is what the outside packaging look like. I like the white, however, it gets dirty really fast. But anyways, again, the names are on the back like the actual highlighters as well. Same concept, no mirror. I wish I had a mirror, but that's like small world problems. And then moving on to the actual shadows, this is what it looked like. It's a really pretty like warm eyeshadow palette. If you are a girl that loves warm colors, I would definitely say get your hands on this palette. You do have some pretty matte and shimmer shades in here. You can definitely create a really pretty look, which I did today. Um, and they're really pigmented, you guys, and they blend out really, really nicely. The only color I had a hard time with so far was this yellow color because it was not showing up on my skin tone. Maybe with a white base on your eyelids, it might show up better that way, but just with a regular eyeshadow primer, it was not showing up. But again, maybe with a white eyeshadow base, it'll probably show up better that way. But besides that, all the colors are really pretty and this swatch really nicely. Um, for my look today, I use this brown color right here. And then I also use this little like color in the corner. I also use this color and I use that color as well. So I did get quite some use out of this product for the first look that I'm wearing today but I guess I'll just swatch some swatches for you guys so here is the gold one swatched right there then I have that like burgundy color and here's the brown color right there so again they do swatch really nicely and they blend out really nicely as well and Keep in mind they do have some fallout so if you're not a fan of fallout they do have fallout but it doesn't like kill me as far as having fallout i would definitely just do your eyeshadow first and then do like your full face afterwards because you will get some fallout so just keep that in mind but i'll definitely keep the prices down below for you guys in the description box but i think between those two products i would definitely get the eyeshadow palette and skip out on the highlighter palette that's just my personal opinion and then the color on my lips is deeper which i think is a really pretty color this is what it looks like and I do have it topped over. I have Kylie topped on top of it and I have matte chestnut lined on my bottom. 
But yes, you guys, hope you enjoy my review and demo. Like always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, they are going to get more of these products in stock on Friday. I will definitely put the link down for you guys in the time. But they will be relaunching these. Or not relaunching, but, you know, they're going to have more on their website on Friday if you are interested. Again, I would get the eyeshadow palette and probably skip out on this unless you just want to have these colors in your collection. Um, but again, for like every day and of course to get your money's worth, you probably can't get a lot of wear out of all these colors unless you are creative and use it in different aspects as far as like eyeshadows or blush toppers that you can definitely get your money's worth. But if you just want it to be strictly a highlighter, then I probably wouldn't get it. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. All right, you guys, we're going to take this color right here called Chauffeur and just put it in our crease. take this color right here called Louie. Then we're going to take this color called Full Zip and put it on lid. And then I'm going to take this color called Mischief. It's a dark brown and put it right in my outer V. this color right here called Note for Self and just pop that in our inner tear deck. Alright you guys, so going into the highlighting palette, we're going to take this color right here which is called Bigger and Better and apply it to the high points of our cheeks as our highlight color. And then for our lip color, it is called Beeper, but I'm actually going to go in with um, MAC Chestnut before I apply my lip color.